Let's take a look at Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 2, Multi-Digit Multiplication and Division, Topic A, Multiplicative Comparison Word Problems. Problem 1. A rectangle is 1 inch wide. It is 3 times as long as it is wide. Now we're going to use square tiles to help us find the length. So I'm going to create a rectangle that is 1 inch wide, but it needs to be 3 times as long as it is wide. So this is one time as long as it is wide. So I would need a few more tiles to help complete the rectangle. There. Now this rectangle is one inch wide and three inches long. It's three times as long as it is wide. Let's make a new rectangle. The new rectangle is going to be three times as long as this rectangle. Okay? So this is one time as long. This would be two times as long because it's exactly the same length as the other one. And then I would need another one. This one is three times as long. So now I have a rectangle that is one inch wide and one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 inches long. Problem 2. A rectangle is 2 meters wide. It is 3 times as long as it is wide. Draw to find its length. Okay, so the rectangle we're going to draw is going to be 2 meters wide. So I have this. But the length of it is going to be three times as long as this. So I have three two meter sections to add to the length. Now you can clearly see that this is now six meters long. Two, four, six. So now we've drawn a rectangle And now I have a rectangle that is 6 meters long and 2 meters wide. Problem 3. Christine painted a mural with an area of 18 square meters and a length of 6 meters. What is the width of her mural? Okay, so let's start with a rectangle. What information do we know from our story? Christine painted a mural with an area of 18 square meters. So we know that the inside would be made up of 18 square meters. The length of the mural is 6 meters. What I don't know is the width. But what I do know about area is that I have to multiply length times width to get the area. So if I think about 6 times blank equals 18, whatever go, would fill this in correctly should be the length. 6 times 3 gives me 18. Her next mural will be the same length as the first, but four times as wide. What is the perimeter of her next mural? Okay, so I know that the mural is going to be the same length, which is going to be six. It's the same as it was up here but it's four times as wide. So I would need four of these. So I would need four three meter sections to find the width. So I can do that using multiplication. I can say four times three meters 
which is what I have here, 3 meters, 3 meters, 3 meters, 3 meters. 4 times 3 meters is 12 meters. So the width of this mural would be 12 meters. But it wants to know what the perimeter is. So let's think about how we solve the perimeter. We begin with the formula. Perimeter is equal to 2 times length plus width. Well, I know that the length is 6 and the width is 12. So, perimeter would equal 2 times 12 plus 6. Well, I can add 12 plus 6 together pretty easily and get 18. So, the perimeter is equal to 2 times 18. And 2 times 18 is 36. So the perimeter of this mural is 36 meters. I could have also solved this by addition by saying 12 plus 12 plus 6 plus 6 like this. I could have solved it this way and there's nothing wrong with that but if they want you to use the formula this is what they'd like you to like to see you doing. Problem 4. Problem 4. Sherry's rectangular garden is 8 square meters. The longer side of the garden is 4 meters. Okay, so we have a rectangular garden that we know is 8 square meters. We also know that the longer side of the garden measures 4 meters. So how can we figure out what this side is going to be? Well, I can think about the multiplication that this side multiplied by this side would give me 8 square meters. Therefore, 4 times blank equals 8. And I know that 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So this side has to be 2. Nancy's garden is twice as long and twice as wide as Sherry's rectangular garden. Okay, so Nancy's garden this is Sherry's. We know that Nancy's garden is twice as long and twice as wide. So this is the size of Nancy's garden. But let's see what this size really is. What we know is that this part is 4 meters and we know that this part is 4 meters. We know that this side is 2 meters and this side is 2 meters. So if we put this together we can see okay this is 8 meters and we can put these two together together and see that this is 4 meters. So this rectangle is really 4 by 8. So here's our rectangular garden. It's 4 by 8. This is Nancy's garden. Now over here 
we have Sherry's garden. I'm going to move Sherry's garden out of the way and I'm going to move Nancy's garden up here. Okay. If Sherry's neighbor had a garden three times as long and three times as wide as her garden, what would be the relationship of the perimeter between those gardens? So this is Sherry's garden. The neighbor has a garden that is three times as long and three times as wide. So it would be like this. It would be three times as long, one, two, three, and three times as wide, one, two, three. Let's figure out the perimeter of each garden. Let's go back a little bit. This one we said was two meters wide and four meters long. So in, when we're finding the perimeter, we have to add the length plus the width. So we would add four plus two and get six. So the perimeter would be equal to two times six, which would be 12. Now let's figure out the perimeter of Nancy's garden. We'll do the same thing. Perimeter is equal to two times length plus width. But we need to remember what the length and the width are. So we, the length is eight meters and the width is four meters. So eight plus four. Eight plus four is 12. So the perimeter is equal to 2 times 12, which is 24 meters. Now this one, we didn't figure out what our length and width was. We know that this is 4 times 3. 1, 2, 3. I have 4 3 times. That's 12. And on this side, I have 2 meters three times, two, two, and two. That's six. Twelve plus six is eighteen. So if I add twelve and I add six, that would be L plus W. So the perimeter is going to be equal to two times eighteen. Two times twelve plus 6. And then that answer is going to be 36 meters because 2 times 18 is 36. Now let's take a look at the relationship between these perimeters. Sherry's rectangular garden was 12 meters in perimeter. Nancy's was two times as large. So it's the perimeter is two times the length of Sherry's. Goes from 12 to 24. The neighbor's was three times as large. So if Sherry's perimeter is 12, 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, a rectangle porch is four feet wide. It is three times as long as it is wide. Label the diagram with the dimensions of the porch. So we know that it's four feet wide. So I can put four here. It's three times as long as it is wide. So this portion must be four as well. And this portion and this portion, this length. So it's four, four, and four. Like so. So finding the perimeter of this porch. Perimeter is going to be equal to two times four plus twelve. Twelve plus four. Twelve plus four, sixteen. So 2 times 16, and 2 times 16 is 32 feet. So the perimeter is 32 
feet. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for Lesson 2. Remember, you can always get more resources if you go to lpssonline.com. Hover over Parent Command Center. Go on down to Math Resources. Click on that and you'll get this page. You can click on the grade level you need, fourth grade. And once you do, you'll get to this page and there are parent newsletters for all the different topics. Right now we're in Module 3, Topic A. So when you click on that, you'll get to this page and it'll have helpful resources for doing your work.